No standing eight box of podcast. We discuss every organization and weight class. With your host, Bronx Bomber, educated with the craft. Punch a topic hard like heavyweights hitting the bag from the top rank to the upcoming. Washed up to the dark horse. Champs, number one contenders. Quick jab or sharp cross. We saw Come get it. Tuning in, you can have it. Internationally known. Our information is valid. See, we on a higher plane. No two episodes the same. We get better as we train, so on top we remain. Come join the conversation, the same sight you gain. And outside of the rain, we do the damn thing. Training camp has been great, you know. Um, I'm 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 training out here in Vegas with a uh, Bob Santos and. Um, and uh, Richard Barrientes, um, you know, at the pound for pound gym. Um, so, you know, that, that was, that was new, you know, just trying to make, you know, Vegas a second home. Of course, I've been, um, uh, the last few or the last six, I have at least six years. I was in the Bay area with Virgil Hunter. Uh, we're, we're no longer together, but you know, um, everything is still, you know, all love, you know, me and Virgil, you know, we, we talk, you know, every now and then, and, um, uh, you know, I'm just very thankful, you know, to have had his, um, his influence and um, support, you know, the last few years, but um, I've I've had a you know tremendous camp out here, uh, and I'm just you know excited, you know, to be ending the, this layoff, you know, and um, you know to be stepping back in the ring, you know, in front of my hometown. What, what have you bought in from your last your, your last two fights? Obviously, you know, uh, once again, uh, Thurman and Davis. What did you learn of those losses, and well, how are you using that to prepare yourself for the next fight? Um, you know, they're both, you know, really valuable learning experiences, you know, just being there, you know, with two um, very dangerous fighters, you know, uh, Tank is argu- arguably, you know, one, one of the best, you know, in, um, in the sport right now. And Thurman, you know, is a former world champion, you know, still a very uh, competitive contender, uh, you know, so we're able, you know, to take a lot, you know, from, e- uh, from each of those losses. Um, like I said, you know, they're both, you know, very competitive fights. And, uh, you know, I know I still have, you know, a lot to prove, a lot of, you know, great fights uh, to be made, you know, um, in, in the junior world, I mean, in the welterweight division you know, for, for myself. So, Giovanni is a pressure fighter. He's constantly attacking. He's constantly on. How have you been prepping and how, what are you going to use to uh, minimize his pressure and to stagnate that pressure? Um. I'm not looking, you know, uh, to to stop or you know to stagnate, you know, that pressure at all. You know, I'm I'm looking, you know, um, I've been working, you know, but very very similar, you know, just uh, so I mean, I'm looking, you know, forward, you know, to a very, you know, aggressive, a very, you know, entertaining fight. Um, you know, that's exactly the style that you know I've been, you know, preparing for, and um, I know, you know, come fight night, you know, I'm gonna be ready for, you know, the. A, a very intense 10 rounds. And after Giovanni Santiago, what's next for you? How do you see yourself in the mix of the elite fighters contending in the welterweight division? Well, you know, first thing, you know, I, I had to go out there and handle business, you know, as, um, as we're planning, not looking past, you know, Santiago at all. But, uh, you know, this is a fight, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm looking, you know, to get, you know, to get myself back in the mix, you know, with the, with the, with the top fighters, you know, in, in the world tour division. Um, but, you know, right now, like, again, you know, all my focus on my, you know, everything, you know, is just, you know, focus on February 11th. This fight is a very important fight for you. How... How is how necessary is a win for you? What does it mean for your career if you suffer another loss? It's very necessary, you know. Right now, you know, because I came off of two very competitive uh, losses, uh, a lot of people are you know writing me off. Um, you know, which doesn't bother me. You know, the opinions of you know um, the boxing world and and fight fans has never interested me much, but uh, you know. I know myself, you know, I know I still have, you know, a lot to prove, you know, in this sport. And uh, like I said, you know, there's a lot of, you know, great fights to be made, you know, for um, for me and um, and then the other fighters in the welterweight division, um, you know, so 
um, for me, you know, the win is absolutely mandatory. You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, seeing February 11th, you know, um, going in any other way, you know, than, than me coming out victorious. I mean, you keep saying you have a lot to prove, but hey, listen, you're a former world champion. Your only two losses are to arguably two of the greatest fighters in the world. You went almost the distance with, with, with Davis. You went the distance with Thurman, uh, the so-called one-time Thurman. What, what is it that you feel you have to prove? Uh, like I said, you know, just, you know, that, um, not that I necessarily had to prove, but, you know, I just know, you know, I have, there's still, you know, so much more, you know, to, to accomplish, you know, for, for myself in the sport. Gotcha. Gotcha. So what has your team been saying? What has your management team been saying in promotion? What's the roadmap after Santiago to get you in a world title? When can we see Mario Barrios fighting for another world title? Uh, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can, like, um, I'm looking forward, you know, to having a very, you know, a busy year. You know, I want to get at least, you know, four, you know, three fights, uh, you know, this year, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward, you know, to, to just staying very busy. And, uh, you know, first things first, and like I said, you know, I have to go out there February 11th, you know, and uh, take care of Santiago. And then, you know, um, given, you know, we we'll go out there and handle business, then, you know, we're, we're going to go from there. But, um, you know, I'm looking forward to you know, just getting back in the mix, you know, with uh, with, with the best um, in the World's Weight division. Do you have a message for Santiago? None. You know, I, uh, I know, like I said, that he's he's coming ready. And um, I'm looking forward, you know, to um, – to uh, February 11th. Okay. What do you want to tell your fans before we got out of here? What do you want to tell to all of those that follow you and support you? Uh, everybody, you know, that has been supporting me, and, you know, up until this point, you know, through this, um, through this little layoff, you know, it's very, um, I'm very appreciative, you know, come February 11th, you know, make sure you tune in. Um, I'm looking forward, you know, on, on, uh, on, um, on making a statement. All right. Well, listen to the chat. That's all I have for you. Thank you for taking time out of your business center to talk to me your fights. Uh, I'm rooting for you. Good luck on uh, February 11th. Wish you all the best. Appreciate it, Jacob. Thank you for having me.